Well, hello everyone. We're back on another adventure. We're here in Arkansas already. We're headed down to Tunica, Mississippi. We're going down to Fritz's, the casino. We've got a weekend down there. Go down to Memphis and just kind of hang around, do some sightseeing and see what we can find. We're here in Mammoth Springs, Arkansas right now and getting ready to head on down the road. We always kind of stop here. It's a good place to stretch your legs and have a bathroom break. And you can see there's all kinds of geese here. You can buy food back in here at the center and come out and feed them. It's always been something we brought the kids to do. Now when we came down in March to go on our cruise, the, they weren't here. I don't know if they weren't back yet, but they're all here now. You can actually walk up and touch them and said feed them. You got to hold your hand out flat, but it's kind of interesting. We'll walk on down here. I've all showed the waterfall in videos before, but we'll walk down here and see the waterfall. Nice little town, Mammoth Springs. Water looks a lot greener than it usually does. Like more dirty, a lot of algae on it. Guess just depends on time of the year. Just a nice pretty place to come. I said stretch your legs, you can walk around a little bit, go to the bathroom. Get snacks in there if you want. And then come down and look at the waterfall. We'll go down here and look at the waterfall. We're here at the waterfall. Of course, just short walk. I just there. You can see the water is always really interesting to look at here. Usually see some people fishing, don't see anybody this morning. Perfect temperature, it's about 71, maybe 72 by now. It's been in the 60s this morning. We're gonna walk on over here, see the waterfall from a different point. never videotaped actually over here in the old uh, building. This used to be, I guess, at one time back in the early 1800s, a uh, power company where this all started. See, nice and calm up here. Water barely moving. We come right over here on the other side. And you've got the waterfall. Well, this was the old turbine house. And according to the signs in the air, back in 1927, so... St. Louis Power Company actually bought it and ran it. One more look there. Again, nice and calm out there. But the water flowing here, you never know that much water is flowing through there. But if you look really close, you can kind of see the water going under, smooth as it looks. All right, well, we're gonna get on down the road towards Memphis. We're gonna go to the Bass Pro Pyramid today. We'll see you down the road. I'm walking back out to the car and I thought I would film one more thing. Every time we come down this way, we always stop here 
at this sign and I've got pictures of the kids back when they were really small all the way up to our cruise just this last March. We always right there in front of that sign take our picture. Well we're here in downtown Memphis. You can see some of the new, st new lofts and stuff they're building. We're going down here to Augusta's Fried Chicken which is right over there and we're going to have some lunch. It's one of the original Gus's downtown. It's where we're going to eat lunch. Little bitty place right there. But it's good. Okay, got our food here at Gus's. I got a thigh and a breast. And Dee got a leg and a breast. And been ready to eat. Coming up on the Bass Pro Pyramid. Going inside there. Welcome to Sportsman Paradise. This is cool, never been there. In a quarter mile, you will arrive at your destination. Well, we're here at the Pyramid Bass Pro Shops here by Memphis. See all the highways here coming across. That way's the back to Arkansas over the big new bridge. I'm gonna go in here. Never been in here, so. Here inside Bass Pro. Up the top of the pyramid. Didn't know there was a hotel in here. Really interesting. Well, they're moving. Well, then one's fighting the other one for his food. Yeah, I didn't either. Smells good. Right? Does, it? Wow, what a view. The observation deck at the top of the pyramid. It's bigger than I thought. Yeah, this is. Wow, this is really cool. Things you don't know. This is going to be a little tricky. Why is that? Oh. <laughs> well, we're here at the top of the pyramid at the lookout. I didn't even know it was a lookout. You can see the bridge right there. There's the old bridge right over there. Downtown Memphis. Looking down from the top of the pyramid, you can see down there, we're parked right over in there, or I guess back over in here. One more view out here. See Memphis, the old bridge, Mud Island, New Bridge or Highway 40. There's the top of the pyramid.
stopper over here we were just right around the corner there's a lookout but we walked around and there's a lookout over here we could come out to still see the new bridge and everything can't see memphis is good but pretty interesting see the mississippi there's d Well, one more look before we leave. And I just thought I would point out the lookout we were just at right there and then over there. Never notice that unless you actually go up there. Okay, it's on to Tunica and checking in at Fritz's. Well, we made it to Fritz's in Tunica, or they call it the Fitz, not Fritz. It's a Fitzgerald. That's the hotel. Casinos down there. Everything looks like a castle. Kind of cool looking. And we're going to go check in here and see what we got to do from here on. Really cool. Well, we're here in our hotel room. This is what it kind of looks like. Nice and clean hotel. Long hallway. out the window just at the parking lot but it's all right it's the bathroom nice shower Well, we're here tonight eating at Fuddruckers. Our first free meal. <laughs> well, here we are Saturday morning. We've left Fritz Fitzgerald's Casino. We've headed down here to the Tunica, Mississippi Visitor Center. It's a old train depot. Kind of show you here it's out here kind of in the middle of nowhere you take highway 61's back up that way and that goes back towards Memphis and we're gonna see go in here and see what we can find in Tunica since we've never really been around here and see what there is to see today we can kind of hunt around and see what kind of historic stuff they got sign here by the visitor center talking about the highway 61 blues where we've went into the visitor center kind of interesting talks about rivals route 66 as one of the most famous roads in american music dozens of blues artists recorded songs here huh, really interesting well we're gonna go see what else we can find to do Well, we're here in downtown Tunica, Mississippi, looking at the old historic town. And this is the old historic uh, courthouse in Tunica. They actually have a new one, what it looks like. We'll go downtown here in a little bit and look at that. But we're walking down around here to see what this is like. I'm going to walk around the corner here and we've seen the old jail house. Of course, not in use anymore. There's a new justice center back up a few blocks away. So I'm going to walk over here and we're going to see the old jail. You can kind of see it back there now. Looks like it's got the windows all boarded up. We're about 13 to 15 miles away from the casinos. They're kind of back in cotton fields. 
to kind of set out in the fields, you have to drive from one casino to another. No walking between them. They're quite a distance. There's the old jail house right there. You can see it's boarded up. But you can still see the bars on the windows. The magnolia tree in front of the courthouse. Really nice looking tree. Just don't see that in Missouri where we're from. Okay, we've come over here. The courthouse is right back there we were just at. And we've came over here not even a block away, or I guess just a block away, and we've come across the Tate Log House from 1840. And here's the house. I'm gonna walk around it and look. You can see the moss still growing on the roof. Old plaque here. See if I can get up close enough to see it. You know how well you can see the inside through the glass, but walk around. This dog trot style cypress log cabin was constructed in the 1840s on land near Robinsonville, Mississippi. Samuel Kerr purchased the land and cabin residence in the 1860s. The cabin was converted to a plantation commissary when Robert F. and Simpson Tate purchased the land in 1890. Mrs. Christine Tate sold the land in 18, 1952 to the Leatherman family. In the early 1900s, the cabin was moved south to Elise and Sterling Sarge Seabrook's property at OK Landing near Austin, Mississippi. Richard and Carol Seabrook Leatherman donated the cabin to Tunica Museum in 2000, which brought the cabin to its present location in the town of Tunica, making it the most traveled structure in Tunica County. Take some video of downtown Tunica here. Here on the, I guess you call it kind of a square. Good morning everyone. I'm here at Fitz's in Tunica, Mississippi. We're finishing our weekend off. We had a good time. It was turned out to be a really nice place to stay, really clean. Food was okay. Gambling turned out good for us. We've had a good time going down to downtown Tunica, looking around, seeing the historical town, going around seeing the other uh, the other casinos and hotels it was it was a fun weekend now we're headed back we're going to go to memphis and then we're going to head on home see you on the next adventure